Rosemont Alley Bain, a young girl from Chicago who had been instrumental in getting the nation's first restroom access law, known as Alley's Law, passed. After being denied access to an employee-only restroom in a retail shop, which re resulted in an embarrassing accident for that young girl. Inspired by Alley's ability to turn a humiliating experience into a positive, Lois emailed her local representative, Mark Elias, who, much to her surprise, returned her email with a phone call just a few short hours later. A month later, Lois was meeting with Marco and others to talk about getting something similar to Alley's Law passed in Washington State. Following the initial conversation and the subsequent research, HB 1138 officially dropped in Olympia in early 2009. The bill would give individuals with certain medical conditions the right to use employee-only restrooms if necessitated by their disease. Mike and I, along with, uh, hi, Mike is me. Am I reading your thing? Am I reading my thing? That was timing right there. I should have went over this for him. Um, along with volunteers of the CCFA, myself and I, is that correct? All right, now I'm going to stop. Along with volunteers and CCFA staff joined Lois and Marco and Olympia on numerous occasions to testify before the House and Senate committees to support the bill. And last May, with Marco's expert knowledge and guidance, HB 1138 was signed into law by Governor Drinkwater. It is with great honor that we present this year's award to Lois Fink and State Representative Mark Elias for their incredible efforts to make private retail restrooms accessible to IBD patients in the state of Washington. Please join me in welcoming them to the stage. challenge is something as simple as using the restroom, it's obvious that there's something that needs to be done. Uh, I still remember uh, the person that gave me the piece of advice, they said call a few constituents every week and Lois was in the first batch that I called and uh, it was just a wonderful experience, it's a, a practice that I've kept up since then. Uh, and I can't say enough for uh, Ashley and Mike and their support all through the way. Uh, their senator is actually the chair of the committee in the Senate that was responsible for this legislation. So having a rock star with his own senator being the chair of the committee helped a lot on the other side of the rotunda. Uh, and quite frankly, as we were working through the process, one of my favorite stories to tell is we had a business group that had some concerns, and so they sent their lobbyists to testify with their concerns at the hearing. And I could tell we were going to be okay when the lobbyist, after he'd made his remarks in the hearing, on his way back to his seat, stopped to ask Mike for an autograph on the building. <laughs> uh, maybe we would make it, uh, despite their concerns. Uh, I guess my message is very simple, and that is, I am not the government, we are the government. And this movement to get this bill passed really exemplifies the fact that we live in a democratic society, and when the people in our state, in our society, want to make positive change uh, on something as simple as going to the restroom, we have that power. So please, uh, whether it's on an issue of Crohn's and colitis, an issue of health care, an issue of anything in our lives, uh, reach out to your elected officials when you see a problem out there. Let us know. Uh, that's what we're here to do. We're here to serve you. We're here to stand up for you. We're here to stand up uh, for everyday people. And just in closing, I would say through this journey, I discovered that a colleague of mine uh, actually suffers from ulcerative colitis. Uh, and his daughter uh, inherited the disease from him and spent most of this winter in the hospital getting surgery and going through the arduous process that people in this room understand better than I. So in closing, I would just dedicate this award to Jeff and Hannah uh, and all the people in our state that struggle. Uh, we're going to continue to stand up for you, and thanks so much for this recognition. Keep fighting. Thank you. 